Time's now 448. Let's get over to Michelle. Thanks so much, Leslie. So we're continuing to monitor Tropical Storm Fiona. It's not a threat to the U.S., the southeast, uh, southeast Louisiana, and also the Gulf Coast. But again, we're going to keep watching it very closely, it's looking very healthy on satellite imagery here. A lot of the convection is trying to wrap around the center, but it is fighting a little bit of wind shear at the moment. So right now it is moving at a very good rate to the west at 15 miles per hour with maximum sustained winds of 50 miles per hour, which stronger wind gust of 65 miles per hour. So the latest track from the National Hurricane Center has it continuing to move to the west over the over the northern Leeward Islands, heading into or near Puerto Rico, bringing heavy rains and also gusty winds as we wrap up the work week heading into the weekend here. So as we get closer to Monday, even into Tuesday, a lot of models are in a pretty good consensus showing Fiona uh, potentially uh, making a west northwesterly turn over his and again, additional strengthening is possible, but again, the latest forecast keeps it a tropical storm and then it'll continue that west north northwesterly movement as we head into our Wednesday and it looks like additional strengthening is possible. So Fiona right now, it is the only system that we are really tracking right now that is named and we're looking at another spot in the central Atlantic has a low chance of tropical development and here's the development area hatched uh, from the National Hurricane Center. It's not going to do much in the next uh, 24 hours to 48 hours, but again, has a 20% chance of any tropical formation as we go through the next five days. So uh, again, currently there are no tropical threats to the area, which is fantastic 